Wow. <laughs> Insane. I just don't want to break down. She's here. Answered in the name of Jesus. We got the lamp going. What up, what up, what up, what up? Good morning. I wanted to film today, but then I have a headache and I just don't feel like it. And I don't give myself enough days off, so I just said, forget it. I do have a lot of admin stuff to do. I have a lot of videos I need to edit. It's, it's just insane. It's good to be ahead, but it's like wowzers. And yeah, so I know that my flowers are coming in today. I, I don't know if I told you, but I had canceled the subscription because I was annoyed. And then the I wasn't finding the best flowers at the grocery store. And I... So I went back, I went back, and now my flower delivery is no longer on Tuesdays, it's on Thursdays. So it's taken some getting used to because I'm like, where are my flowers at? And today's Thursday, so the flowers are supposed to be here today. So what I'm doing to prepare for the flowers is just prep the water. And I put ice in the water, because you know that flowers are normally in the fridge anyway. I mean, they're outside too, but you know, and then the fridge, they last longer. So ice in your flower vase is definitely uh, a hack I mean, he would say that's a life hack mommy so yeah there's that and then i have another vase that i prepared because i ordered flowers outside of the subscription that i have i ordered flowers from randall's to come through instacart because i'm gonna put flowers in my guest room tonight my assistant comes in finn she's my niece my oldest niece and then uh tomorrow Shreda comes in again <laughs> And we're going to just have a good weekend. So I'm excited about that. I'm putting flowers in the guest room. I've already prepared the guest room as well. I have not made my coffee today, which is such a problem. I woke up and I just got to it with everything and never got around to actually doing my coffee. So I actually need to do that right now. I have this vase right here ready to go. This is the vase that's going to go in the guest room with the white roses. And I think that this will suffice. You know, Jackie Ina's video where she showed us <laughs> how to take care of flowers was really, really good because I did not know that you need to make sure that there are no leaves in the flowers. I look all crazy. I did not know that because the leaves have bacteria in them. And that has made a huge difference. That's a game changer for me. So, Jackie, thank you. What? I was like, okay, not me, real not, me not knowing that this was a video that I needed. I had no idea that I needed this and I needed it. It came in handy and it was very, very good. So yeah, I got strawberries as well. I'm gonna set out the champagne glasses. I have I have my Prosecco, but you know, it's more for display. <laughs> so I ordered two more bottles. They're gonna drink. I'm still recovering from surgery, so I think I'm not supposed to drink. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm okay not drinking, it's fine. It's been a month anyway. So I'm gonna have, I already have orange juice. I have the champagne and I'll prep the glasses for them and we just have some cute fun things that we have planned. <sighs> I'm sleepy. I really am. I wonder if my head hurts because of my need for, not my need, but my dependence or, is it dependence? My, <laughs> what is it? Is it a dependence? I mean, I do have coffee every day. Is that what my head hurts me? I don't know. I'll show you the guest room once I get the flowers. I basically did turn down Cypress because my mom was here for two weeks as you, 10 days as you, wait, two weeks, was it? 13 days, something like that. So yeah, I turned down the guest room and it's just exciting, it's fun, you know, just to, to prepare for guests, I love that. And I think it's cute. I should be trickling in, I had to order some more dryer sheets I'm doing laundry as always, <laughs> literally as always. And I may mop, not I may, I'm gonna vacuum again and mop the front area. There's just little, little things around. I don't sweep inside the house. I grew up sweeping, granted. And I always think to myself, I wonder if these millennials know how to sweep. I grew up sweeping the house, but I vacuum on the rugs and the floor. And the vacuum works really well. So I'm gonna vacuum. That's just some touch ups. I got to ring at the door and it was my Versace purchase. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Essence because they were having a sale. Listen, one thing about me is I'm going to do the designer and if I can get a good deal, then why the heck not? I bought a bunch of these bralettes from Essence, S-S-E-N-S-E. -S -S -E. I'm going to do a collective haul on what I can because there's just so much stuff. 
I started to film this collective haul months ago. And then as I continue to get more stuff in, I'm like, oh, let me add this. Oh, let me add this. And it's just really big right now. And I'm thinking, should this be a long video? Should it be part one, part two? I just don't know. But I'm going to just make it one long video. And if y'all are interested, just watch the whole thing. There's a lot of stuff. I just opened up two of these items and I was like, let me just show y'all while you're here. I believe that I wear a size four in Versace, although I've not tried these on. I still do believe I wear a size four. Size four is a large, I think. Or a size four XL. I feel like this waist is me. Yeah, this waist is definitely me. So this is a bralette, you know, with my surgery, I said. And, and the doctor that some women still choose to wear underwire bras, I don't need it anymore. I don't even need a bra anymore, okay, praise the Lord. But I'm still gonna wear one. I'm just going to choose to wear soft ones like this or skims. So I have a few of these bralettes and that's what I'm gonna be wearing. And you know I don't wear pants. <laughs> Okay, this is the white one, Versace bralette. Imagine this as a top, you know what I'm saying, with some over and then the bottom, or of course, literally wearing it as a bra, kind of obviously brazia, okay? It's giving sports bra, it does have, this one does have the buckle in the back. Really cute, this one looks big. Hold on, this white one is a little bit bigger than, wait a minute. What size is this? This is a size four. Oh, I think it'll fit me. Oh no. Imagine me getting my bralette tailored. I'll get it tailored at this point because I don't feel like returning this stuff. It was on sale. It was really, I think it was like 50 bucks a piece, something like that. It does have the clasps, but I think it'll fit. Whatever, it should be fine. Okay, I got, and I already got stuff that I put away already. And here I got, a few body suits here's one of them this color i wish it's more almost like puke <laughs> mustard but almost pukey but i like it i mean i think it's pretty you know i think it's pretty on the skin so this is a bodysuit. thank god i can wear stuff without a bra now and then we got the low back and the detail on the waistband the versace detail this is so funny because it's a bodysuit with the you know the bottom it does oh my god the bottom claps clasps like a bra you know i don't wear panties and so when i have something going on down there i get annoyed i'm not used to it it's been three years now so i'd be like why is this looking me up and <laughs> because it's a bodysuit hello so i'm gonna hang those up and then i'll lay my bralettes flat in my drawer yeah yeah so yeah that came in my flowers came in as well and I'm gonna hang up the bodysuits. I told myself that if the, at this point, if anything needs to be tailored, I'll just get it tailored. So when I put on the bodysuits, which I'm not gonna do until I have somewhere to go, man, that try, trying to haul is a lot of work, man. It, it was fun, but I was like, dang, this is a lot. So when I put it on, if I feel like the waist needs to be taken in, I'll pin it just for the meantime, and then I'll take it to the tailor to get, to get tailored. In fact, I need to pick up some stuff from the tailor tomorrow that he's already working on. He's gonna see me very often because I'm gonna need stuff tailored. Do you feel me? Yo. Here I find myself again. Time traveling only in my head. From the past to future play. More change, yeah. My emotions are valid, but the all right, let me show you the, the room. It's really simple. So this is an old Ikea table that I was gonna actually get rid of, but I kept it here so that guests can put their suitcase on top of it so that suitcases don't have to be on the actual ground. And then this plant setup is from my studio, from my old situation, how I used to have my studio. And then I got new bedding from Amazon, pillows from, these accent pillows are from Amazon with the cases as well, the same as I have in the living room. And then this clock, it, I'll link everything below if you want it. This clock is Amazon, the lamp is Target, and then the the candle holder is Target, and then the candle for Ever Mood, of course. I have Target slippers, two robes for guests to use, and then you have the flowers. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna see if Infinity wants this lotion because I hate it. She might want it, so I left this here and then that's just a basket of toiletry items. So yeah, this is the room. I think that it's pretty and simple and I'm excited. As you can imagine, I've already set up the toiletry items in the shower for them to use. I'm ready. 
I'm ready. I enjoy hosting. So you know when it comes to hosting, I got it all covered. I ordered some more champagne, like I said. That should be here soon. Okay, I'm unboxing some stuff that I got from Amazon. Let me show you. I'm gonna turn the light on. Okay, I saw this. Who was it? It must have been Andrea Renee, honey. It must have been her who posted this. And it's a candle warmer that looks like a lamp. And I was like, oh, I have to get this. Okay, good. So it's bad. It's electrical powered, whatever you call it. So I can plug this into the wall and what? Turn it on or off. I'm going to leave this on like always. And here we go. So we let's unwrap this. I love how it looks like a lamp. Isn't this the cutest? Because I need it. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this. Oh, this is the powder from... From last time I oh, unboxed that rare beauty stuff, that shimmer powder. Okay. Oh no! What? This is brand new. Why is there? What? Oh uh, wait, is that how? Wait, is this the design? Okay, maybe it's supposed to look like that. The marble is maybe supposed to look like that with the lines, because it's throughout. Okay, maybe that's intentional. I'm about to say, why is this thing already? Just what's what's the word? You know, defect not defective, but you know, looking all old. Okay. So here's the candle. I'm still going through my Christmas candles. This one is this candle is old. I should really, I should really put a different one on here. But let me just put this one. It don't even look good. Oh, it's ugly. <laughs> I want to change this candle. I'm so annoyed. I want to finish it though. Like what? I hate wasting stuff. Okay. And this is the what? Oh, the bulb thingy. Okay, so, okay, let's tip this to the side, let's check. Okay, I'm gonna just shove this, what? Do I just, how does this go? What? It's so, oh, you put it in and twist, understood. And then it's at an angle, how cute. Here that goes, and then I'll plug this behind here. Oh, is there a, oh, oh my God. Okay, I have to rearrange this because the outlet is on the other side. Okay, okay. So let's put this back and move this over here now. That's my setup from doing my makeup over here, just for a change of scenery. Okay, so here we go right here and then it's going to plug in right here in the back. Boom. Won't, won't, won't. Don't, but a don't. And then we're going to turn it. Ooh, where you at? You can't even see. Hold on. Let's move this decoration and put her right there. Put this. This going to go right there. All right. So, this is a little chaotic. Not a little, a lot chaotic. This is a lot chaotic. Okay. And we're going to turn it on right here. Ooh, all right, we got the lamp going. Okay, it's on high. That means it's gonna be cooking this candle. Not cooking. Ooh, this is literally like the kind of stuff you see in restaurants. Keeps the food uh, warm, yes. Okay, so I have it on high. I turned it all the way up. And so it's gonna just keep it warm. I see what you're doing for others, Jesus. Okay, I get it now. And this thing was expensive. It's like sixty dollars or something, seventy dollars, something like that. This is cute. I want to get another one. I just wanted to see what this one was gonna be like. This is a cutie pie. What do you think? How adorable. Okay, so I need to tuck this down because I'm gonna keep her going. You feel me? When this one runs out, we gonna just put another one. You feel what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and do that. And it came with two light bulbs, or yeah, the light bulb, the heating lamps, whatever you call it. You know, the end. The insert, it came with two of those. So that's a good thing. How cute. Right, let me clean this off and then show you what it's looking like. You feel me? Okay, so it's giving lamp vibes right here, which is nice. You know me, I like small touches of light. I just like light all over the place just because. Little, little touches of it. So the candle is not lit. This lamp warmer thingy is just going to keep it burning. I mean, it hasn't melted yet, but I will circle back 
to let you know if I start to see the the wax melting. Wow. Interesting. This is the same thing that's used for food in restaurants. Yes, love it. You know what you can do if you get a candle that you love the scent of, that don't like the packaging of? Just cut it off. I just took a box cutter and went down the middle and just take it off. And now you have what looks like a white candle. So I'm actually gonna go replace this with that Christmassy looking one and then go take off the outer part of that Christmas one too. Oh my God, it was working, look. Oh, can you see? It was working. Ooh, that is so cool. All right, I wanna finish this candle off, so I'm gonna light this one. Oh my God, that is so cute, it works. Welcome to me, Jackie! <laughs> Listen, I'm so tired of these solicitors. I don't want anything to do with them. You look so beautiful. You smell good. What you got on, girl? Yeah. You must be tired. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you all froze. You know? No, this is You weird. young people. Y'all be having energy and stuff. Oh, wow. You look so beautiful. Oh, Give me yeah. hugs. Oh, oh, my God. That was a long journey. Yeah. Well, I feel like it, it took a long time. Because of the delay. So. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my God. Welcome. Thank you. You've been to Houston before, but that was just for your dance no, competition. Never, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was well, ages that. Yeah, ago. Never oh ever. my god! Never Look ever. at my panties here. Never okay, ever. so welcome to my humble abode. Some trash here. Just, just ignore. You checked these two? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, I checked this one, and then they were like, um, "We have limited," and I was like, "You can just take it, so I don't have to walk around with it." And then you get that one person, and they're like, "Actually, it's heavy." Sometimes, sometimes, one time they let me go. Sometimes, or once my case, I was like, "Thank you so much for letting me go. Can I give you a tip?" And she was like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her a 20. Oh, yeah, I was like, sure. not her saying, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So I to go, buddy. Like, Thank you so much. I just saluted to her because I, I had to go. I had not time. I need, yeah. I need everything. They ended up paying like extra $60. I need everything in my suitcase. Yeah. Well, welcome. Okay, so let me show you to your okay. room. Okay. Oh, and burn God. sage about burning candles. Now you're waiting on you. <laughs> I was like, that shit took a long time. I know. Yeah, right? and the flesh flower. Oh, oh, my. So yeah. Cute. Yeah, you're just giving waste body. Yes, I am. Everything yeah. we made it a party, so yeah. And then I don't like this lotion, so maybe you'll like it. It's got okay. like shimmer in it. I don't know. Oh, you don't like that, but no, I do. But I wasn't really into it. I don't know what JLo thought what she was doing. That one, I'm not really into that one. I didn't really like it too much. And I just set up for tomorrow. I mean, I wasn't gonna pop it unless you, you know, obviously, I can't enjoy it. You tomorrow. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say we can pop it right now. You sure? Okay, I thought the Casamigos and the and the and the, and the is ready. Honey, I this is it. how you do it. You feel me? I love this is it. how you do it around here. Y'all, I had the whole vibe set. I was like, dang, it's mm -hmm. taking a long time. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> like, dang, should I have gone and get it? Like, what the heck? Oh, I'm trying to save time. Where are you but at? Because this is eating me right now. I was like, should I go to bed? Just and wake up like, again? Yeah, I was like, dang, this is taking yeah. a while. Every time I look at you, I see your dad with a wig on. Yeah. You look just like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all have glasses. Yeah. You don't do contacts? Yeah, I do have contacts. Oh. But you just That's prefer right. to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to get LASIK. My friend got LASIK. She like loves it. Yeah. She was like, yeah, it's just It's just creepy though because you you're open and you're looking at them go like this. That's just cute. She said it was really quick though. I know. But she loves it. I I She's I like, one of the best decisions. Yeah, it's like two thousand dollars I like twenty five hundred I I have a list of things I want to do and excuse me. That's on it. It's creepy, but anyway. Oh my gosh, so you're hungry? Yes, I am hungry. Okay. Yo, good morning. So, oh, leaving my massage appointment. It's so odd because the last few sessions have been uncomfortable in a different way, in a way that it never was before. 
So they're very uncomfortable because I feel ticklish now. And it, I had to realize today that perhaps what it is, is I'm getting, well, not perhaps clear, that I'm getting more sensation back in my tummy, in armpits. And for that reason, when she's massaging me, it is extremely ticklish in a way that it was not before. So I'm tense while she's doing it. I'm not as relaxed as I used to be. It's so, because she's using pressure, it's so ticklish. And I'm trying not to squirm and laugh and all this and yeah squirm basically but i'm tense so when she's doing my tummy my tummy is more tense than usual i'm like contracting my abs and then i have to like let go so that she, i'm like okay let me let me let go because otherwise she might think that it's a tenseness or some kind of i don't know something that's not there i'm like i gotta relax my abs but i'm so tense because this is so dang ticklish my goodness gracious but I'm glad I went, you know, anyway, I'm happy. my progress is amazing. I'm excited about that. I got to get a car wash today, go to the Taylor, Nini's lunch today, and a meeting today. If and I are going to meet, we're going to go to the mall. It's just all these things happening. Shea comes in tonight. It is a busy, <laughs> it's a busy day, but I am very excited. Having some business stuff to figure out what come on and tell you. I am going to do a comprehensive video of things that I've learned over the past three years as a business owner. But it dawned on me to share this. Simply, if you are an entrepreneur, it's just tidbits of things that I feel are very important to know. My assistant does have a credit card. So I did give her a line of credit on my business credit card. And you can set a limit as to how much that person is able to spend. Of course, only on items that I approve. She knows. And lots of times I'll be like, I'll literally screenshot something or send her a link to something or an IG post or something and be like, oh my God, I need this and then she'll buy it and she knows my size by now and she'll ask me or I'll send her a picture and be like oh my god I need this in black and white and then she'll buy it and she's using my business credit card it's in her name of it because it helps just having an assistant in general is a huge help okay that's number one and it helps in lots of ways like if I'm like oh my gosh I need to I don't know there's always something I need to do every day, you know, and I can easily be like, hey, low priority, but can you grab a few of these? Or, hey, low priority, but can you grab this fragrance? Or, oh, I saw that Kali came out with sugar patchouli. I just got one in the mail. Can you buy me another one? And she knows enough. She knows to make an affiliate link and then make the purchase. That's something, too. If you're not making your own links and using your own links and missing out, make links to buy whatever it is that you're Oh, it's a car. Stop. To buy whatever it is that you're buying. You feel what I'm saying? And she knows to do that. And for sites that are not linkable, it just is what it is. But it's just so good that she just has that. Doesn't have to use my card. It's in her name. And even with this trip, for instance, obviously it's a business trip. We're going to have fun. Fun is always included in my lifestyle. It's fun. Fun is what I record. That's his business. We have a, it's a whole 360. So she, I obviously covered her flight and she knows to use the card for when she parked back at home to come at the, to the airport. She knows to use the card for the uber to come because i could have went and got her yes but it's far and it, it just it's just easier to just hop in an uber and come you feel what i'm saying a long time ago i had talked about how i don't carry cash but then i would start to carry it just for whenever when one whenever it was necessary random times but really and truly for whenever i felt led to just give it to somebody because I just remember being younger and randomly someone gives me money just says god bless you know i'm like what right and if you've seen my video or haven't make sure you go watch it it's the one was the one where i was doing the giveaway with me and i was talking about giving away money well i'm gonna get my my i'm gonna go to the post office and there's a woman who works there very very sweet very very kind very energetic bubbly just so helpful and even during my surgery, my mom came to get my stuff, and I told her, I was like, the lady there is really, really nice. Just to my mom, is, you know, she's old, she's ailing. I'm like, I know I'll be having mad packages. I said, the lady there is very nice. Just tell her that I had surgery, because she knows, they know me. They're always like, oh, yeah, you, you got a lot of stuff. So I said, just tell her I had surgery, and to help you bring the stuff to the trunk. So when mom came back home, she's like, oh, my man, lady, lady, you know, she's very nice, this and that. And I said, yeah, she's very bubbly, sweet, energetic. Okay. So I've always known that and I've always appreciated the way she's always received me so nicely, so on and so forth. And she's new. She hasn't been there for a very long time. Now, something in my heart tells me that she has had a life change. Something in my heart tells me that she has turned a new leaf over that maybe because I haven't I don't know her life story. I don't even think I even know her first name, but something tells me that she has turned over a new leaf 
that maybe she was an, uh, an, an addict of some sort. I'm thinking drugs and that she's turned over a new leaf and she's living a better life. Something just tells me that whenever I see her, I just get that feeling, you know, and she's just always, again, so, so nice to me. And I'm thinking to myself, you don't have to be so overly excited and recognize my face whenever I walk in and just go right away and get my stuff. And then sometimes she'll ha like one time I was dragging the stuff out and the boxes fell down shorty. She it fell down and she came on and helped me. I mean, she just goes above and beyond. Do you feel what I'm saying? And again, like I've told you in the past, I'm just in such an, uh, I'm, I'm in such overflow that it blesses my heart to the core I need to hurry up and go to the, to the car wash. It blesses my heart to the core when people are kind, when they don't even have to be. And that's where I always challenge myself that, you know, share a smile. It doesn't take much. I might be having a bad day. I might be focused. I might be busy. It might be even you need to be like, mommy, why do you look so mad? And I'm like, baby, mommy's not mad. I'm just focused. And I even have to remind myself, like, don't be so well focused on one minute with him or this focusing face, you know, just loosen your face. You feel me? And it can come across even to Nini, like, mommy, you look so mad. My mommy's not mad. Maybe I'm just, I'm just thinking about a lot of things. You, you, you know, when I met you. Anyway, this lady is always, always, always so upbeat and just, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't even understand. But of course, it's, it's clear that in her heart, no matter what she's going through or experiencing or has really experienced in her life, she's old, old lady too, maybe, I don't know, 50, I don't, I don't know. It's very clear that she is choosing joy. You feel me? I don't know if she's a believer in the Lord Jesus and, that, and whether it is or it isn't, that's not what it's about. I just, it's very clear to me that she's choosing joy and she chooses it every single day. So I just, I just love that. I like one time I came and I was like, it was, it was, it, it wasn't time for them to open. And I looked and I was like, oh, they're open. I went in. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize you opened early now. She goes, oh, no, no, no. I just, when I get here, I just open the door right away because I know it'll be helpful. And I'm like, what? These people never used to come in here early. I mean, you had to wait until the, the, the time on the door. The time on the door, that's when they open the door. But this lady talking about she likes to come early. And when she's here early, she'll open the door for service. Can you, think about this. How many people work in a, a, a job like this, I don't know how much she gets paid per hour, go above and beyond and say, I'm going to come early and then I'm going to open the door early. Now I'm going to come early and then maybe do a few things and then I'll wait till the time, the time, nine o'clock and I'll open it. No, no, no. I'm going to come early and I'm going to actually open the door with the sign on, put the lights on so that customers can come inside. I'm like, yo, this is next level. And I recognize this. I recognize this about her and as I was driving, we talked about it in the video, as I was driving, I got a small, a small feeling, a small whisper, because I have some hundreds in my wallet, and I was like, I'm going to give her one. Now, here's the thing about me, and I told you on the video, and I'm trying to be better because I gave money, I gave a hundred to this, to the cashier at Target, and I literally, I, I need to put them in envelopes, because I literally gave it to her, and I didn't want her to look at it right away. And it looked like she was she was gonna cry, and I was trying to walk away. Cause see, here's the thing, I want to just slip it to you. I don't want anyone. I don't want. I don't want it to get in the hands of somebody else. Obviously, so I want to make sure I put it in your hand. But then I also don't want to stand there and then start to feel emotional and then start to cry. I don't want to start to cry. I want to do it, and I want to just run away. I want to run away because I don't want. I don't want the spotlight, and I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to discuss anything. Like. If you ask me to pray for somebody in public, I'm going to cry. Like, I just cannot. I'm just not ready to go there right now. So I had, I had slipped her. I rolled it. I was like, and I hate crinkled money. Okay. I hate that with passion. And these are some crisp punnets too, right? And I'm like, I just folded it and just gave it to her. And I was like, you know, God bless you. Thank you for being so nice. And she was like, oh, thank you. And so she saw that. I was like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I walked away. And I later, I can't lie. I later felt like, oh, was that rude? It's not my intention. It's not my intention. But I just, and they were, they were, they were customers. That, I just didn't want to make a spectacle. You feel me? I just felt in my heart to give her this money because she also, that Target cashier also was, this is getting hot in here. That Target cashier was also nice and sweet. Like she was folding the stuff into the bag. And I'm like, I told her, I was like, it's okay. Just throw it in the bag. And she's like, no, 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 no. My, my anxiety, like, I just have to like make sure it's folded nicely. I already folded one of them. I'll just fold all of them because, you know, and all this. And I'm like, wow, she cares. She cares about the little things. And God honors when we, sorry, that was a burp speak. 
God. God honors when we care about the little things and the little people. And so it just touched me. So I went to the bathroom and I just had it on my heart and I put the money in my hand and I walked back out and I gave it to her. Anyway, so here, back to the lady at the post office. Again, the little things, she's so, so sweet. So I'm hoping that, what time is it? I'm hoping that it's nobody in there. I'm going to find, they have paper. I'm going to just like find paper and roll it up into it and then give it to her. And hopefully she don't open it until I walk away. Because I don't want to do the hugging and the thank you and then the crying. I'm comfortable with my emotions. I am comfortable with my emotions. It's just that when I know that I'm doing something as unto the Lord, at the instruction of the Lord, I don't want it to be about me. So I don't want to now stand there and then now, oh my God. You know, now, I come here all the time. So maybe the next time I see her, she will be like, oh my God. You know, in a way, in a way, I just want to like, and this is obviously rude. I, I obviously want to, not rude to her. It, it would be rude. I'll explain. In a way, I just want to give it to her. And then we both pretend like it never happened. <laughs> and that is simply because I don't desire anything from giving it to her. I just desire that it will multiply in her hands and that a seed will be planted and that whatever area in her life where she is lacking, it will now be multiplied in the name of Jesus. I just pray that she'll take this money and then maybe there's a prayer that she already prayed and put forth that I know nothing of that will now be answered in the name of Jesus because I heard a small voice as I was driving here. That's my prayer. I don't want to I don't want it to be about me. You feel what I'm saying? And I also ain't no evangelist. So I'm not about to be, and the Lord said, like, we ain't about to do all that. I just, I just want to like give it to you and walk away. And then like, you know, maybe you go tell a friend about the, what the Lord has done. Like, I don't, I, just, I don't want to be in the middle of it. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't want it to be about me. This is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, long story short, I'm going to give it to her. Hopefully, hopefully uh no one's in there or hopefully she don't look at it until later and then when i see her again when i see her again then if she want to say something she can and she don't and if she don't then that's okay too you feel me I don't, I don't i don't do this again for any kind of accolade at all whatsoever like period end of story doesn't even matter to me i'm doing it because i know in my heart that she could use this for one reason or another she could use this there's a reason why she could use this hundred dollar bill because i don't need it you feel what i'm saying and that and even just to say that is a blessing because I don't need it. You feel me? I remember when I... We, <sighs> mm -mm. Because I don't need it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Never in a day in my life would I have thought that I would be sitting here with a $100 bill in my wallet and say, I don't need this. <laughs> You would have to slap me over the head, punch me in the face, kick me down, let me on fire before I would have said something like that. I would have called you. I would have called you all kind of things. I would have said you are so stupid. Like what? <laughs> it's unheard of. You feel what I'm saying? But from what the Lord has done in my life in the past three years, I this no. I will never ever. You will never. You will never find me not giving god the glory and that's why i picked up the phone the camera to say i was gonna the target thing i didn't say anything to y'all i did this weeks ago i just did it you feel me but i'm reminded too that this is not bragging this is to show what the lord has done and is doing in my life because i believe in the lord jesus christ i believe in the lord jesus christ he has saved me and continues to wash me clean even though let me tell you stuff be hitting the fan Okay, stuff be hitting the fan. That's all I'm gonna say. But God, so you know, as a result, I can't help but give God all the glory, and I will never stop. I will never stop. I will never stop. No one will ever, ever, ever make me stop. It's a hundred dollar bill right here. It was crisp, and I folded it. I hate that. It, it was a nice. It's like they ironed this. It's like a fresh bill, honey. So let's go and see what she see what she. You know. Maybe she'll be so distracted. I'm gonna roll it up in paper. Sometimes I be trying to like, I wanna just like slide it in someone's pocket. But then can you imagine going and putting your hand in a, in a stranger's pocket? Their immediate reaction will be like, what do you do, you know? And again, I'm trying not to make a scene. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like, I'm just trying to bless you. Thus saith 
the Lord, the, the Lord told me. <laughs> you had up in an altercation all because you wanted to bless my one dollars. What kind of psychotic stuff? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-uh. So, oh my God, so funny. I'm going to leave the camera here. I need my hands and I'm going to report back. I'll report, I'll report back to home base when I get back. Okay, praise the Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that just held me up so much. And I stood there. I was stalling because I was nervous. Okay, so I go in and there's a different guy there. And he was helping me and he got the boxes. And I was like, oh, the lady, the tall one, is she here today? And uh, no, I was like, I, I never got her name. What is her name? And he told me. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. She's always so nice to me. I never asked her her name. But I, when he said it, it, I was reminded like, oh, yeah, that's her name. Like I, I knew it. I just didn't remember it. So then I was like, is she here today? And he's like, oh, yeah, she's in the bathroom. And I was like, oh, okay, nice. So he helped me. And and then she comes out and it's an empty store just the two of them and then uh i was like oh yeah i was just asking about you i had forgotten your name and he, she's like oh yeah da, da, da. and then we started talking and then they were like are you good at jenga because the way i always organize my boxes in my my crate they're always so 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 shocked and i'm like you know i don't really enjoy jenga but i just like things to be organized i would not be okay if i just threw the stuff in here and walked away that would irritate me so i like things to be organized and that's why i always organize the boxes i literally would be like how many boxes do i have and i'll wait to see all of them and then i'll start to piece them in i don't just throw them in because in that way it won't it won't be packed well you know i just i'm that's just me my personality so they're always so surprised at how i'm able to pack everything so neatly and nicely and fit it onto my crate so we we're discussing that and then they were like uh what do you what do you do or something like that and i was like oh yeah this is all free stuff that i get from brands she's like makeup right i was like yeah because she could see one of the boxes had elf on it and i was like yeah you know uh makeup skincare that kind of stuff candles maybe and she was like wow you know so then we were talking all three of us are just talking chit chat just 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 talking casually and in my head I'm like how do I do this because the guy is standing right there and I don't have any plug on my heart to give the guy anything it's more for the woman right and I'm thinking dang don't you have something to do like don't you need to go to the back and do something I wanted it easy I wanted it easy can you believe that I wanted it easy and it was hard it was hard for me so we're there talking and then she was like oh yeah elf is hard to find I was like really because they have it at Walmart and Target and she was like yeah but you know when you go you can't find certain stuff and I was like okay I understand you mean maybe certain products because it's true elf is not they don't carry every product in every store so I was like oh yeah that's true I do understand that and so she was like yeah you know I, I bought something one time from Walmart and then it, when I got home it was empty people were returning stuff that are empty and I was like yeah Walmart you know that now all of their beauty stuff is encased they're all in glass and then the, the aisles are very bright and there are cameras and so we're discussing that she's like oh yeah i saw it on tiktok this is this, that so we're just you know shooting the breeze right and i'm just in there like when do i do it when do i do it when should i, I literally was like maybe i should just do it a different time but i felt it on my heart strongly that i need to do it now not when i felt like it not when i thought it would be easy but do it now, even though it felt hard. Isn't that a word? Listen, I wanted to run away. I was like, this is just too awkward. The man is standing right here. I gotta go. And so I went in my pocket and took out, okay, so when when the man went and got my boxes, I had found a piece of paper and I wrapped up the money in the paper, okay? So while I was sitting and chatting, I went in my pocket and grabbed the wrapped up paper and I put it in my right hand. So we're still chatting, chatting. I'm thinking, oh my God, when am I gonna do this? Like, I mean, we are talking, okay, about, robbery and theft and you know all this and all that and TikTok and oh my god I'm thinking when 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 do I do it I'm like it's not gonna get any easier we're literally just sitting here shooting the breeze and I never do this I'm usually in and out and I'm like I gotta just do it awkward I gotta do it afraid I gotta do it now and I just had to say to myself like I gotta do what I did not want it to do I wanted it to be easy and it wasn't gonna be easy for me but I knew I had to do it so I was like, well, you know, I appreciate you always being so bubbly and so helpful. You know, last time mom was here, she said how nice you were to her. And I know I had a procedure done. So and she's like, oh, you know, no problem. It just comes so easily. You know, I can't help but not. I can't help but be that way. All this stuff. And I was like, no, I really do appreciate it. You're always so energized and so helpful. So here I wanted to give you something. Happy New Year. And she was like, oh, and it was wrapped up. So she didn't even know what it was. And she's like, oh, you know, oh, thank you. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I turned around. I started walking away my crate was full of boxes and I'm trying to tell you I wanted to walk 
I wanted to run out of that building, but it wasn't possible. It wasn't possible to run out of that building. I wanted to run so fast. So here I am, and mind you, I didn't want my boxes to fall down, but I knew I needed to get out quickly because I wanted to get out before she looked at it. Bro, before I even <laughs> reached the door, she had opened it and was like, oh, oh my God, this is too much. And I just had to turn around because, right, you can't just ignore someone after you do that. And for me, I would have been ignoring her because I was uncomfortable. So I turned around and I'm like, no, and I'm still walking. I turned around and I said, no, it's okay, it's okay. You take it, you know, you take it, that's for you. I wanted to give it to you. And I just walked out, yo. I am not an awkward person, but God is challenging me with this blessing stuff that he got me doing. I'm telling you right now, that was uncomfortable for me. Do you understand me? So I just walked out. <laughs> And then as I was walking away, one of my boxes fell down. Come and see foolishness, yo. One of my boxes fell down. And she's normally the person, if I drop a box, she will run out the building and come help me. And because she goes, you need some help? But when I, before she saw it was in the envelope. And I was like, oh, no, no, thank you so much. I was trying to get out of there. And so when my box fell down outside, I was like, if she sees me, she's going to run out here and help me. And I don't want to have this encounter. I need to get out of here, Jesus, please. So I quickly picked up the box. I looked back to make sure my other stuff was sitting the way it needed to sit. And I was trying to walk so fast to my car. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. That could not have been any harder and uncomfortable for me. Because, again, I don't want this to be about me. And I was just so uncomfortable. But I'm so grateful that I did what I knew God told me to do, even in my discomfort. That's the, that's the, the test that I knew was in front of me that I feel I have Past. I feel I have, I have, I was, I was up for the challenge. I was scared because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, what it is, is I just don't want to break down. That's really what it is. I know that if someone starts to cry, I'm going to start to cry. I know that if she starts to talk about, oh my God, and you know, today my car broke down and this is going to help. Like, I know. It's going to send me into an emotional spiral. And so the reason why I'm uncomfortable is because of simply that. That's what it is. Because I don't want to break down. Not right now. I'll break down. I just don't want to do that right now. Can you feel? And can you imagine trying to control your breakdowns? What kind of insanity? You feel me? But I just don't want to go there right now. You know, that's really what it comes down to. And I don't want it to be about me. It's about the Lord Jesus. And and I noticed today, I, I, and I haven't ever noticed this. I'm not sure if she's, this is new. But I noticed among her necklaces, she had a cross. Among her necklaces, I've never noticed this since I've known her at that post office. Among her necklaces was a cross, a silver cross. And I'm like, if that's not further confirmation, then what is? Because like I said, it didn't matter if she believed in Christ or not, but she had a cross on her necklace. And I said, I'm supposed to give this to her. I cannot, as uncomfortable as I am, I'm supposed to give this to her and I cannot walk away without doing that. So, you know, uh, yeah, so I did it. I did it and I am grateful that I did it. And uh, yeah, I just had to report that. So it's not about me. We give God all the glory. That held me up though, because it pushed back all the things that I have to do right now. But it was worth it. It was necessary. It was required. So I am grateful. Praise God. for a day to take with her. Sometimes you be looking and you're like, hold on, let me keep this one. Wait a minute. <laughs>
Okay, we have clean house. These are fittings, two boxes that she's taking home of what well, we're gonna mail it of products. And then listen, and this just came in. I am so surprised at how much we've cleaned house, and now we're going through my drawer of travel. Travels travel items we got some good stuff up in here i feel like you're gonna love the scent of the oh you're taking this one i want to smell this one though because i sm i know i smelled this one last time. i don't I have one myself. i don't have one open but oh i think you're gonna enjoy it okay. yeah i think you're gonna enjoy it so you can just open it up and smell it and take it but yeah th there's some good stuff up in here let me tell you there's some good i don't know why got some random brushes at the bottom but you know like for, for instance you know the glow uh what glow recipe plum plum hydration blah, blah, blah. love these Love, love, love. You're gonna like it. Oh, this smells good. Right? Yeah, it's we're coconut. Gonna, and we're gonna kinda add this to the box. <laughs> you box is mad full. <laughs> Ain't no space in there. We're gonna add it to the box. This can go up here. I'm clearing house. Mm, These good. just came in. I don't know what skincare you need. I don't oh my god. We haven't even looked at the skincare. See, that's what that's another box. I need skin. I can never get enough of skincare. How many boxes so. are you gonna take? I'm putting the camera right in your face. I want the camera right in your face because you talking about you need another box. How many boxes do you want to take? This is insane. I have to look at. I have to. I have to approve everything. Okay, well I'll go through the stuff that you already know. Oh, mm -mm. I gotta look and, and approve it all. We can do it together. This is insane. We can do it together. Okay, but well we need to go eat though. Okay. We're supposed to be having a, a retreat. We're supposed to be having a meeting. We're supposed to be going over things. And you want this? Okay, so let me tell you. I no. no, 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 no Before you even get, oh my god, oh. she's gonna, she's gonna, no way, I can't do this. What was she wanting? She's to? gonna, well, uh, she, I never even made it an option. Mm. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> when she comes, I'll put out a feel, I'll put out feelers. Okay. And see what she, if she, she's if she says like, she's gonna want it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if she says like, Oh, I don't really care. Then fine. I feel like she's gonna vomit if I just give it to you, <laughs> and she never had an option. Like, if she wants it, then I'll. You guys can do like charades, okay? Or like rock paper scissors, okay? Close your god. That's fair. That's fair. Or I might have to default to the oldest. That's not. You fair. don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that. That's not fair. <laughs> that was my favorite. Let's let's pause on that for a second, cause okay. mm, she gonna chew me out. Now I do have the. I don't know what my problem was. <laughs> Okay, we have to we have to just do the skincare okay. and clothes later, later okay. because otherwise we'll be here all day. Okay, so you don't need this box. No. Because she's been killing me for this Valentino bag, and I can't lie, I haven't even used it in a the while. The black one? Mm -hmm. Well, I know, but, I know, and she was talking about um, your Jacques Mousse bag. Uh, I got her one for Yeah, Christmas. I know. I think she had it in her when she, um, right, so now I feel like it's fair. Oh! Wait, yeah. wait, when did you see it? Is she she posted it when she went out somewhere. I said I got it for Christmas. That. No, she said I got it for Christmas. Oh. I was like, oh, Santa was nice. It was good to you. She was like, he was. We don't believe in Santa. <laughs> That's what she said. He said he was. He was. I was so <laughs> sick of it. That is funny. Yeah, so I feel like it's fair. Ooh. Wow, you're really being vocal. Yeah, I feel like it's fair. No, it's not fair. Oh, I I was almost gonna give it to you, but then yeah, I I, like I had to think about my dear sister because she gonna lose it. I, I gotta give her I gotta give her a chance. She gotta have at least a fighting chance. Okay, we need to get out of here. I am so hungry and oh, we got messages. Okay, all right. Put my stuff in the Taylor. It always smells good, and their music is always Christian music. Which I love. 
Hi, how are you? How are you? Picking up, please. Try it on my shoulder. Oh, no, it's okay. okay. Okay, go ahead, try it on our home, especially the shoulder. It was a cute yes. alteration. If something happens, just bring it back. No please. problem. Okay. Yes, please. Perfecto. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the way is it really. <laughs> He's like, it the way is really small. I said, yeah, really small. <laughs> Yo! Not you making mention of the obvious. That was so funny because it was like the back was just like boop, you know, and was he was like, oh, okay, we got to take all them. I'm like, yeah, heck, Lord, I'm going to be coming back here a lot. Yeah. You know, I had surgery. He was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> he's, I know he, he knows what surgery like. He, yeah. He's familiar. He knows what's going on. Yes. He knows what's going on around here in these streets. But the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind. It's okay for my sanity. I choose peace and now forever. We just left Sack smelling so many fragrances. I'm putting on lotions and I feel lightheaded because of all the sniffing. How do you feel? Yeah, it's lightheaded. Yeah, I feel like I need to go to sleep right now. <laughs> But so many good things. Delina Exclusive, in my opinion, smells just like Burberry Hair. You smell Burberry Hair Elixir, right? Yeah. Okay. I have it. You have it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It does yeah. smell. This smells just it like does. it. And I'm glad I never got the Delina because it's too, it's too similar. It's too similar. Look at this store. I love it. It reminds me of Dubai. The fragrance is so good. Yo, Finn is out here working. Do you understand? Put us to the, to the full thing. Yo, this illuminates the whole place. Infinity. That's There's why they. Modes. There's different modes. So like, that's why they said that this was a one and done. This thing is heavy. Yeah, they have like duty TV mode, strobe mode, fireworks, paparazzi. Oh wow, paparazzi! I mean, like Papa, <laughs> paparazzi. Yeah. I don't wanna be the one that's gonna love me. Wow, this is so harsh. We have the soft box, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on. But wow, this is insane no wonder why this costs so much i bought a new light i'm not doing those four lights anymore and this is a game changer yeah you can <gasps> save the different like settings. is there a remote yeah right here See, this is very harsh and bright, so we can say, oh, I can take it out with this, right? Can I? Oh, yeah, I just haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, like you see how this, got maybe you. even still a little bit shiny, Yeah. but it's even this is still one. good because I actually like this vibe of it being the evening time and it's dark it looks, in the back, kind of, yeah, but you can still see bright. me. Yeah. And we can even go down uh, light, uh, what's it, lower. Let's see. Still That's 60. Good. 60? We can yeah. go down more. That's 60. Let's see. That's 55. You want to go lower? Let me see how you do it. Yeah, I need to see. I have the... Oh, wow. That's 50. Yeah, take it down some more. Let's go to like 40. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's okay, let's go to 30. I was going to say, you're still so good from over here. Mm -hmm. with that. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. This looks... This place is... Kind of dark. I can turn the light. Let me turn this yellow light off because that also. Let me make a little bit of a difference. Wow. Just the, okay. We we can go down more. Wow. I'm blown away. That's twenty five. And this is twenty. Yeah. We can even go to fifteen. Wow, Finn. That's fifteen. This looks this so good. good. Look at the camera. Wow. It looks so good. Yeah, that looks good. 15%. Thousand dollars is worth it, honey. I'm telling you, this is, this is my first investment for the year. Yeah. In the business. I'm gonna be recording at midnight, honey. We're gonna be up It looks good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. 
Because when it's nighttime, I can't. I, I'm like, oh, because man, the lighting. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do anything. Yeah. But and I just got to come turn this on. Like, my skin looks good. I don't look no, crazy. Looks good. Yeah. One light. This 15%. is one light. At 15%. 15%. Oh, it's a wrap. If I get up and it's 5 a.m., I can still film and not be like, I got to wait till daylight. Because usually I'll film in the bathroom. And sometimes I'm just like, the bathroom gets old. I want something different. And then I'm standing. So like this one, I can come and sit and, and get ready. Fifteen mm. percent, girl. Wow. Yeah, it must. It must need to be connected somehow. For yeah, because it says this is antenna. But it doesn't give you an app. So I guess. Oh, I, this is. The, oh. Can you can see my one. Oh, oh so there's a way to control this light with my phone. So then, maybe I just need to when I go to my Bluetooth, I'll just see something. It'll just pop up somehow. Okay, so I figured out in the app, I can turn it off. And then back, oops, back on. Oh my, my, my. This is so amazing. I am amazed. Oh, I can change the color. Mm. I can change any color. You can change the colors? Yes. Can you imagine? Where's the color? Why isn't it changing? <laughs> Why isn't it changing? Intensity. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I have to do something for that. That's okay. This is what I'm looking at right now. That's okay. We don't got it. I'm just, I'm so blown away that this is enough for me. This is advanced. Wow. Oh, the remote's are here. Oh, this is lovely. I am so thrilled. Okay.